Hello, this is Chloe. This is a video tutorial by request for using opacity maps for products derived on IMVU. We're going to start out by going to the shop and find a product that matches what we're trying to derive. I'm just typing in uh, <clears throat> tank tops in the shop. And the first one there looks like it's what we're looking for. trying it on. And it seems to match what we're looking for. I'm going to go to the product information. And this is the product page. And we don't want to derive directly from this product. We want to look at the derivation tree. To see where that product came from. See, it came from <coughs> three products before it. The IMVU female avatar at the very bottom. Then the standard IMVU t-shirt for females which I tried to draw using that and uh, the opacity map ends up making the shoulders invisible. It doesn't show the skin underneath at all. So what we want is the second one from the top. Just click on that to load up the page. <coughs> Notice the shirt does have sleeves. That's where the opacity map will come in. And this here is the template. It tells you right there to uh, right click and save as. And save image as. Which I've already done, but I'll go through the step anyway. And there it is. Already saved. And just go back in Dime View and close up the shop. <coughs> and go into the Create. We need to get the product ID, which is right there in the URL. And just copy the product ID, go back into IMVU, derive new product, and press, click in the box there, and press Control V to paste, and then click Go. And there's the skin tight shirt. I already have an image created. I'm not going to go over the images. This tutorial is just for the opacity maps. So there's my design as a full skin tight shirt. And I already created an opacity map, but just to show you some of the problems that you can have, I'm going to load the one that I created before. And as you can see right there on the shoulder, there's a seam where you can see the skin through it. 
There's also a seam down the back where you can see the skin through the shirt as well. We're going to have to eliminate that. And this is the texture that I created, the opacity map that I created. And there's the reference image in the background layer. that there's the neck that the curse is pointing at and the two globs at the top were the arms so we don't need any of those so we're going to make all those black and we just need the shirt area now it doesn't matter <coughs> whether you stay within the pattern or not you just want to make sure that whatever you create here in the opacity map is not going to stretch over where it shows any of the polygons from the mesh. So I made the image 50% transparent and I'm selecting making sure that none of the selection is covering where the arms will be or the neck. And I'm going to fill it solid white. I'm just going to save my template. And then go back and flatten the image because you have to eliminate the layers to save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to save over the old one. and then back into the IMVU pre previewer and I'm going to load the new image that I created once it's loaded click on apply changes and now you can see those seams are gone and as I said that opacity map because it's not covering any of the other polygon references on for the mesh it did not affect the image at all even though it is a flat rectangular shape and I'm going to save the <coughs> save the product file and I'm going to create an icon for the shop just zooming in on the shirt the way I want it to look once I get it to where I want it to look then press the print screen key on the keyboard to copy the image then open up Photoshop new file which will automatically uh, specify the size for you based on what is copied into the clipboard and press Control V to paste and there's the image and I'm going to crop what we don't need or crop only what we need and the size of the icon for those of you who don't know has to be 80 by 100 And go back in and bring it up to full screen and I'm in the wrong menu you get to image canvas size and again it has to be 100 by 80 100 wide by 80 high and I'm going to add my little 
developer logo here, even though the shirt already has it. I'm not sure what is going on with my Photoshop here. Uh, normally I can just move the image over to the other image, but it wasn't letting me do it. I've got to select the image and then copy and paste it onto the other image and select the solid white background that I had there. Press delete to delete it and select the back black background behind my logo and then select the VB for voice box and delete that because it's not a voice box item and flatten the image and save it and upload the image or upload the product add the icon logo you just created and give your product a name Oh, and by the way, when you're creating these shirts, or any clothing item, if you can see the underwear, even a strap, uh, the product, according to Terms of Service, must be uh, rated AP. So just keep that in mind when you're creating products. Because it would be, it would not be a very good thing to have your product deleted by IMVU for being inappropriately rated. And almost done here. Okay. You can see and use the product, but other people cannot. Click on the link there to make the product available, which will take some time. You can make things move along faster by voting peer review to help rate other products. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching.